In the villages of Yemen, it's the children who suffer most. Wherever you go, you can see the human cost of this war. 7-month-old Fatima is weak and severely malnourished. She's one of hundreds in this area alone. Her mother Sara tells me she won't stop crying. It breaks my heart, she says. The only thing Sara can offer her child is water. She is so malnourished herself that she's unable to breastfeed. Dr. Ashwag Muharram took me from village to village. Each time we saw the same thing. Yemen has always been desperately poor, but the war has made things worse. With frequent airstrikes, it's too dangerous for people to leave this area. They rely upon people like Ashwag and the little aid she can deliver. Today she's here to visit another child who's suffering from severe acute malnutrition. Abdul Rahman is 18 months old, but weighs as much as a six-month-old baby. Born one month after the start of the war, he has been malnourished all his life, so he can't even walk or talk. Lactose intolerant, Abdul Rahman can't digest normal milk. Before the war, the milk he needs was widely available. But his condition now is life-threatening. It's not just the villages that are struggling. This war has forced 600 hospitals to close down, and lack of supplies has pushed this central hospital to the brink. Children are the most affected by malnutrition. Here, hunger has left one and a half million children starving. This is four-year-old Shaib. His grandfather brought him here with fever and diarrhea. Malnutrition has meant his immune system isn't able to fight a simple infection. And severe shortage of medicine means the antibiotic he needs isn't available either. The antibiotics we have will not treat the type of bacteria that he is suffering from. All we can do is provide health care with the supplies that we have. The hospital is overwhelmed with children, but in some cases, malnutrition has turned into outright starvation. Salim is eight years old. Once able to play and talk to his brothers and sisters, his mother says, although he's alive, it's as if he's no longer here. I never imagined I would ever see a child like this in Yemen. This boy is starving. It scares me that it may be the beginning of a famine. According to UN figures, there are now 370,000 children with the same level of malnutrition as Selim. Four-year-old Shaib's grandfather tells us his condition has taken a turn for the worse. He just had fever and diarrhea, and because they didn't have his medicine, he passed away. Back in the village, Ashwag has some good news. After six days of phone calls and negotiations, Ashwag managed to import his life-saving milk. You've made me so happy and filled our home with happiness. I hope I can do the same for you. <laughs> Poverty has always affected Yemen, but now there's a risk of losing an entire generation. Nawal al-Magafi, BBC News, Hudaydah, Yemen.